Albert Einstein's letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt regarding the atomic bomb, 1939, read by Michael Matheson. Sir, some recent work by E. Fermi and L. Slitzland, which has been communicated to me in manuscript, leads me to expect that the element uranium may be turned into a new and important source of energy in the immediate future. Certain aspects of the situation which has arisen seems to call for watchfulness and, if necessary, quick action on the part of the administration. I believe, therefore, that it is my duty to bring to your attention the following facts and recommendations. In the course of the last four months, it has been made probable through the work of Juliet in France, as well as Fermi in Switzerland in America, that it may become possible to set up a nuclear chain reaction in a large mass of uranium, by which vast amounts of power and large quantities of new radium-like elements would be generated. Now, it appears almost certain that this could be achieved in the immediate future. This new phenomenon would also lead to the construction of bombs, and it is conceivable, though much less certain, that extremely powerful bombs of a new type may thus be constructed. A single bomb of this type, carried by a boat and exploded in a port, might very well destroy the whole port together with some of the surrounding territory. However, such bombs might very well prove to be too heavy for transportation by air. The United States has only very poor ores of uranium in moderate quantity. There is some good ore in Canada and the former Czechoslovakia, while the most important source of uranium is in Belgium, Congo. In view of the situation, you may think it desirable to have some permanent contract maintained between the administration and the group of physicists working on the chain reactions in America. One possible way of achieving this might be for you to entrust with this task a person who has your confidence and who could perhaps serve in an unofficial capacity. His task might compromise the following. A. To approach government departments, keep them informed of the further developments and out forward recommendations for government action, giving particular attention to the problem of uranium ore for the United States. B. To speed up the experimental work which is at present being carried on within the limits of the budgets of university laboratories by providing funds, if such funds be required through his contacts with private persons who are willing to make a contribution for this cause, and perhaps also by obtaining the cooperation of industrial laboratories which have the necessary equipment. I understand that Germany has actually stopped the sale of uranium from Czechoslovakia mines, which she has taken over. That she should have taken such early action might perhaps be understood on the ground that the son of the German Undersecretary of State von Wichler is attached to the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin, where some of the American work on uranium is now being repeated. Yours very truly, Albert Einstein.